Assalamu alaikum, my name is Nora El Mosawi, I'm 25 years old. I'm a youth programme coordinator and a trainee teacher at Middlesex University, and I'm a British Muslim. school I went to Mallory's infant school then moved on to Mallory's junior school that was based in Bronsbury Park and then I went on to high school which was Queen's Park Community School until year 11 and I stayed there for sixth form for about a year and then changed to Ealing and Hammersmith College where to do my A-levels um, then I came to Middlesex University where I'm doing my teacher training. So I'm a youth programme coordinator and saw youth project. So it's a social inclusion organisation that works with young people between the ages of 11 and 17 years old. And the aim is to help give them better opportunities. So right now, trying to find the balance between primary education and working with young people between 11 and 17, it's, it's, really, it's quite difficult to find the balance, but I'm getting there. As a British Muslim, I do feel somewhat equal to other young people in the UK. Yes, there are the differences where I have the restrictions because of my hijab, but other than that, everything is equal. Everyone respects one another, and I've never had any issues surrounding that. British Muslims are able to achieve all their aims and all their goals, and being Muslim doesn't hold them back in any way, not that I've seen. Uh, anything that they do want to accomplish, I've seen so many just go for it and nothing has held them back. Islamophobia does exist. I face it, my family face it, my friends have faced it. And it's from the smallest things, from walking past someone and they call you a terrorist or you're sitting on the train and, you know, everybody gets up or, you know, people just give you those dirty looks. But it can be overcome. When you do end up sitting with someone who has the wrong ideas about what a British Muslim actually is, what Islam is, and you actually explain it to them. They do have a different perception, they do have a different idea. And it is beautiful to see that transition from having a bad idea into a really good idea and having, you know, thinking that not, not everything is black and white. My inspiration is my mother and all mothers around the world because they've actually been through so much from giving birth and, you know, the different things that they've gone through in life. And they've always remained strong, they've always stood on their feet and haven't fallen or broken in any single way. So if I can be like that one day, that would be amazing. So my family always supports me on staying on the right path, especially my mother. She genuinely pushes me. She is always advising me. She's always, you know, telling me different stories in the teachings. And it's always beautiful to have someone there that you can always rely on to, you know, hold you throughout this entire journey. Family means the world to me. It means everything. I wouldn't be here without them. I'm very family oriented. My siblings, my parents, um, even my uncles, my aunts and my grandparents, they actually mean the world to me. project as a youth program coordinator and a senior youth worker so we work with young people between the ages of 11 and 17 years old the young people do come from low-income backgrounds disadvantaged backgrounds and the aim is to just 
provide opportunities for them and you know giving them a place where they can come to because when young people do finish school where do they end up going some of them don't end up going home they just stay on the streets so this gives them a chance to come in and have something to do and we provide many different activities uh, throughout our sessions we do evening sessions um, so we have table tennis, we've got pool, we've got trampolining, we've got multi-sports, we have air hockey, um, PS4, Nintendo Wii, um, uh, virtual reality. It's just a whole mixture of stuff. We run some workshops, for example, like teamwork and leadership, conflict resolution, um, anti-crime, uh, gang intervention. And it just gives them better opportunities. Like, gaining certificates like first aid qualifications, team leading qualifications. So we want to be able to provide as much as we can that they won't be able to get maybe in school or at home. Um, so we are a social organisation. So young people do come here to work with the youth workers. Youth workers help engage them in activities and mentor them. And it, it's, we, do we do have a weekend programme as well that's starting up. So hopefully that goes well. a day. Uh, I'm able to pray at uni, I'm able to pray at work, but yes I do struggle to find the balance to pray on time because there are emergencies at work. There Sometimes I'm in, still in an elector and I can't leave and it does make it difficult but I do try to come to the mosque at least once every week, on, especially on Fridays because I absolutely love listening to Da'a Praying makes me feel peaceful. It brings me happiness and joy. It's as if uh, there's a sense of relief, like some weight's been lifted off my shoulders. And I've just, throughout my day, I just feel content. I look forward to Ramadan every year because it's that one time of the year where family, friends, colleagues just gather together. And there's this deep spiritual and personal presence that you feel. and. You know, it's that time where you get to strengthen your Iman. We fast about 18 hours a day here in London. And within that time, it gives you so much self-discipline. And you just have that. Suddenly you have more time to, you know, connect with God, to connect with your family. And yes, of course, I love the feasts. The feasts are absolutely amazing where, you know, everyone just gathers to eat. During Ramadan on most days, I break my fast with my family at home or I break my fast at the mosque with my friends. And, you know, sometimes we do go to each other's houses, um, relatives, friends, and, have, you know, break meals together. In Ramadan, of course, there's difficulties. Of course, I'm going to have some weaknesses, but there's always strengths. There's always this strength, a sudden strength that I can actually do anything. But obviously, my, one of my weaknesses has got to be I always get very, very... Um, tired but other than that I'm still able to go on with my day. I've made most of my friends in the mosque since I was a young girl I've been going to the mosque and I still have those friends and it's beautiful to just see that once every year we do come back together we do the same things we break fast we have the same conversations and it, it, do, it genuinely does strengthen your iman to have friends like that who are with you every step of the way. Ramadan is that time of year where you learn to you learn self-discipline. You you know you get closer to God by worshiping Allah, by practicing and doing acts just to get closer to Him. Like reading du'as, reading Quran, especially with the Quran and having to finish it within that time. Uh, it, it, it's it's beautiful. During Ramadan, I fast, I pray, I read Quran, I read Dua, and I do Tasbih, and I do try to maintain it throughout the year. It does get difficult though, just because it gets so busy. Wearing the hijab is a bold statement. It's physical, it's visible, you can see it. It's not something that I can hide away. But 
yes, people do see me in a different eye. They've got a different perception of me. Some people are intimidated by me. Some people, you know, I have faced my fair share of challenges and people have walked past me and called me a terrorist. And it, 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 it does bother me. It does bother me. But at the end of the day, that's just a minority that I can see who deal with me in that way. Otherwise, everybody else is so respectful. Everyone that I've dealt with, the people I work with, the people I speak to, even in the coffee shop, everyone is just so respectful. And that's that, that's what I would like to see. I started wearing the hijab at nine years old. All the women in my family have been wearing it. So it was something that I was excited for. So when I did turn nine years old, I had the choice to make and I wore it with pride. And it was such an empowering moment for me. And it's still empowering till this day. I, it hasn't affected my daily life much, as in people know that I'm in hijab, but it's part of who I am, it's part of who my identity, and I can't imagine myself without it. means peace and to me it's a personal and spiritual way of being and it's different for every Muslim and being a Muslim in Britain it's the beauty of it is the respect that you get from everyone that's around you and the independence that you have uh, to practice your own religion. I am proud to be a British Muslim because my British values and my Islamic values they do complement each other so I'm able to live the way I want and in the right way.